Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I've got two Super 7 reaction figures from the Transformers the movie or Wave 4 of the Super 7 reaction Transformers action figures. And I got Hot Rod and Galvatron. So let's take a look at the back. They're the same, so we can just have a look here. So Wave 1, we had Optimus, Bumblebee, Jazz and then Megatron, Starscream and Soundwave and then Wave 2 we had Grimlock, Skyfire, Alpha Trion just try and get this zoomed in a bit better for you guys let's see okay and then Mirage I don't think it's printed too well but let's have a... there we go, that's better Astro Train on the Decepticon side with Shockwave Rumble and Shrapnel one of the Insecticons and then wave three, yeah, Perceptor. Actually, that's the other way around. That should be Blaster. And then Perceptor, which is this guy. And then we've got Devastator, the big figure, Dirge, and the Blitzwing. And then as part of this wave, which ties into Transformers the movie, we have Hot Rod, Fallen Leader, Optimus Prime, King, Starscream, and Galvatron. So yeah, the two figures which really interested me were the main two leaders of both sides. So today, let's take a look inside. But before we do, again, Super 7 have a fantastic artwork on their packets. And it is a shame to just rip it up and chuck because I don't really have a use for these. And they're quite bulky. But yeah, this artwork, it is beautiful. Uh, it looks superb. Um, yeah, and this one is for Galvatron, looking powerful, with this massive cannon. Yeah, great artwork. And at the top it says, adult collectible, not a toy, ages 14 plus. So there we go. So let's get these opened up. Okay, so before I show you the figures, I thought I'd show you the artwork underneath that runs through under the packaging. So here is just Galvatron's foot, but again, really nice pose, threatening with his big cannon. And Hot Rod, you've got his gun here, he looks cool. But again, off they go for recycling. As for the figures, here we go. This is the first time opening them. This is what they look like. Hot Rod comes with two guns, and Galvatron just is as he is. Now, these figures... Uh, Sometimes you get a few blemishes, as with all action figures, and here there's some random dirt marks here, just on the side. I'm not sure if you can zoom in any further. You can even see the, yeah, the zoom on this. I mean, you can't see this in real life because the zoom is really high, but yeah, there you go. You can even see the paint strokes. This is his Galvatron's face. Now, I'm not sure about this dark coloured, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was, should be purple, but they are supposed to be cartoon accurate, so I, uh, yeah, I'll take the design on that. So here we go, out of the packaging, and let's have a super close up look then at Galvatron. So there we go, he looks menacing after being reformatted by Unicron. And in the same way Megatron had a massive cannon, so does Galvatron. Paints, a little sloppy. Uh, it's just, someone just splattered it there. Not particularly accurate uh, to hit the marks. But yeah, the back looks cool. You've got these tank treads. The Cybertronian sort of moving tank cannon thing that he turns into. And on the back, again, you can see the design. So yeah, this looks accurate to the casting, which is why I like these Super Seven figures. Um, I'm only gonna only gonna buy a few a few of them, but the ones that I have got, I am very happy with. So let's take a look at Hot Rod. This is his face. Here we go. So again, you can see the paint. It's not smooth, and there's a few pock marks, like he's got, you know. 
I've had a bad day, or maybe a bit of acne, Cybertronian acne. Um, let's have a look. There we go. There's a bit of dust, and but the colours. You know, this is what it looks like on, you know, on screen watching the cartoons. The colours are very close match, and it's very accurate. And it's cool to see them in 3D. We've got this thing which forms part of the vehicle as well. Back, very simple design. Again, paint application is not 100% great, but overall the look is super cool. And you know, Super 7, their branding is that they're a retro brand. They make toys from uh, like guys who are in their 30s, 40s, and they make the figures from when they were young, so things from 80s, 90s, um, and they tried to match them up. So, overall, I'm really happy with this. It's looking great. Okay, let's have a look at the accessories that he comes with. So, got here. And again, these figures are the three and three quarter type figures, the so same as Star Wars. And I think Marvel figures as well come in this size. I'll just get the other one out. So there's a bit of plastic tape on the back. It's got two guns. Okay, so the first one, here we go. Futuristic looking. I love 80s retro. It's so cool. Um, that side as well. Yeah, again, you know, there's only one color, so there shouldn't really be any misses, but there we go. And I think that is what kind of undermines the price point for these because they are quite expensive figures. So, and the paint, they are simply made. So, you know, I, sh I do expect a bit more, but hey, there we go. Okay. That's the other gun. So, let's get these posed up. And I'll show you soon. Okay, here they both are. I think together look fantastic. Yeah, that looks great. So again, very simple, five points of articulation. You've got head at the shoulders and then at the hips, and that's it. No elbows, no knees, no wrists, no ankles, not whatever. So just really simple. And they're mainly for posing, but yeah, these look fantastic. For me, I the main thing that I'm pleased about are the colours, the way they've just hit them very accurately. And very faithful to the cartoon. Some of the movement will be restricted on the shoulders, especially if there's something on the back. But, you know, again, as they mentioned, they already know these are for adults, really, rather than for kids just to pose with. Uh, let me bring in some of the other ones I've got. First, I've got these little plates just to stick on underneath. And there we go, just to make it a bit more solid to stand on. Let's just stick this one on here. Nope. There we go. It does work on that one. Superb. Okay. So let's bring in a few others that I have. So we've got Skyfire or Jetfire. RC with a tiny gun. Grimlock. And lastly, Dino Grimlock. Whoa, Dino Grimlock <laughs> right here. So these are the ones I've got so far, and overall I am really, really happy with them. These are some of my favourite characters. And because I've got a lot of Optimus Primes already in various forms, it's really nice to see other characters done in this kind of style. Nice, so let's get these all lined up so you can see them. And fit them on. 
Okay, let's fit these guys on for now. So yeah, looking great as a team from the movie. Hopefully they do an Ultra Magnus Springer Cup. There we go. So yeah, overall, really, really happy with these. And yeah, fun to pose for desktop or just display. Well, thanks a lot for checking this out. Give this video a like and subscribe for more reviews.